I sent my boyfriend a screenshot of it showing he's active now on Instagram, saying he's a liar for saying he's going to sleep, to then refresh it two minutes later and it says active 20 minutes ago. Help, I'm a psycho, gonna be single when he wakes up. You know, that last part had me thinking, wait, what's the bad part for the dude? He's gonna have you out of his hair. Also, trust me, if somebody says they are going to sleep but you see that they are online, it just means that they kinda suck at trying to go to sleep. I guarantee you, that has been me so many times. You think, oh, I'm just gonna watch one little video and now you're down the rabbit hole of, ooh, my stomach bubbling. That you've seen one too many cooking videos that just make you get the heebie-jeebies. For any of those that understand who I was referencing, kudos to you. For those who do not, if you could help them out in the comments, that would be nice. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back in the r slash nice girls, as like I've said before, stupid comes in all shapes and sizes. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up them wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. She is not toxic, bro. You made her like that. Now you think she is crazy. Your decisions reflect her actions. Check yourself. Ah, yes, you know, because if somebody else punches me in the face, it's because this person was a dong to me in the past. Yeah, that totally justifies that. Because, you know, it's not like if somebody treats you bad, you're supposed to be the bigger person and not let it get to you or try to actually be respectable. Gripnin can get behind and make me giggle a little bit because I have personally been attacked by a double bouncer, but then again, I also have sent people into the stratosphere by doing the same. Hi, I had a really nice time, but we didn't really click. I'm sorry. Bit. What is a bet? Uh, I just Googled it. Uh, seems like a weird response to what I said, but okay, have a good day. I know you can barely see it, but that's like peace. Not even going to say have a good day back. You're an a-hole just because I rejected you. LOL, get over yourself. This is college stuff. It happens. Not everything works out. Dude was fine with your rejection. You're you're the only one that's not fine with your own rejection. What the heck? How to tell if somebody's pissy without saying it? Uh, do I even need to look or zoom into that last bubble? Me looking at him wondering how someone could be that stupid to lose a girl like me? The love I give is unreal. No, if anything is about love being unreal, it's very much you because posting this makes me honestly think there isn't really much of an example of you practicing what you preach. Hi, Blank. I hope you're having a great weekend. Hi. What kind of work do you do? Your, not your. Didn't even use your. What the shit? Huh? Oh, sorry. You are correct. I know I am. How is it going? It's going great. I just got off of my shift, had a shower, and just settling in with a whiskey and coke and some TV. Very chill. How are you about you? You're a drinker? Yikes. Occasionally one or two. You never drink? No. Are you here to criticize people? I'm here to meet good people. Tell me what you're looking for. Friends, a FWB. I'm looking for someone to have nice dinners with, movies with, travel with, cook for, and do life things with. You're looking in the wrong place. This app isn't for that. You're not going to find them here. This is for those kind of buddies. Did you get butt hurt? Literally almost a day later, to the T. And no. Well, you didn't respond back. Yeah, I think it's funny you've criticized everything I've said up to this point, even going so far as to criticize what I'm looking for. I'm letting you know that it's a waste. No one on here is looking for more than an F. So what do you like to do when you get a chance? Have any hobbies? Anything you're passionate about? Can talk forever about? I'm not here to be pen pals. I'm looking for no strings detached. You look scary. Do you have mental health issues? Wow, I've been nothing but nice to you. It's your stare. I'm concerned. You don't think I have pretty eyes? No, you gotta buy me dinner first before you can get your no strings attached F. I don't do dinners. Your vibe is off. You're giving creep. You've been frigid and mean from the get-go. I haven't done anything except try to make conversation with you. Yes, but just remember, if you end the conversation, she'll double message you and then complain about how this is your fault that you're not communicating. Fantastic! Plus also, you gotta love the logic, plus also the length of this holy Jesus, of if somebody looks at you wrong, apparently Apparently that means that they have mental health issues. Lo and behold, it'd actually be the most appropriate response to your stingy criticizing butt. 
if you are having a bad day, just remember that there is someone out there that's going to take a small eggplant tonight and act like they love it because it's their main. Ah, yes, you know, it's almost as if pecker size shouldn't exactly matter or make anybody less of a human being of such, you know, except for some reason you think that it is an insult very much. It's an old one. Plus, since we're going to be throwing around those type of vibes, that good old energy and everything, uh, how would you feel like if you said that to somebody, but then they turned around and said, okie dokie, a cup. Don't try to bash somebody else if you know for a fact you got something that they can make fun of. I very much am against bullying and anything of the sort. Very much body shaming, very much does exist, and I absolutely hate it. But also at the same time, I will not stand by and let somebody else just spout some nonsense when they aren't able to take what they are saying. If you can't take it, you probably shouldn't say it. I have said that so many times, I've actually lost count. Boys don't love. They'll leave you for someone better or with a bigger butt. Stop going for guys called Kyle who drink Monster and you'll find the good guys all over. Just wait until you find out that somebody can have a nice butt and actually be a decent person. Meanwhile, if you don't complain about like this on the internet, usually you're better than him by default. Because I got a strong feeling that you say in this because it's not about the booty. I've always been curious about this dynamic. I am the stereotypical nice girl and was always so perplexed when really nice guys got with women that are pretty and fun, but shallow, selfish, and unempathetic. But I suppose we can all have our blinders on. You know, if you're going to be posting something saying that other people are oblivious or blind and everything, I kind of think you could have picked a better profile picture. Hmm, I think I still need to know about yours before the jury decides. I'm so glad it's Thursday. Do you have homework tonight? Yes, thank the Lord it's Thursday. I do not have homework tonight. I have a little homework, but I wanted to see if you wanted to FaceTime later. Yes, I would like to FaceTime later. When? Or you're busy talking to your girlfriend. Mm, never mind, I'm good. You follow a lot of uh, that kind of stuff on TikTok. I don't F with that about me. Yeah, I'm not being conceited, but it is actually an honor to be with me. I have been through my fair share, and I truly believe I am a genuinely good person with so much much to offer. Not on here often, so DM me if you think you are strong enough and worthy enough to be in my life. That is literally the entire bio. Hate to break it to you, ma'am, but I do believe that it's a bit of a red flag if 99% of your Tinder bio is you just saying, you are not worthy, like you're freaking Mjolnir. But yes, I'll make sure to definitely look at myself in the eye in the mirror and think, Tommy, is this nutso on Tinder worth it, even though they're probably not going to message back to you, and especially since it's not only conceited, but it's also a little bit of narcissism, you know? Uh, is this person totally worth it? Yep. No one talks about how hard it is building lasting relationships with women. A females will be hating, sneak dissing, preying on your downfalls, secretly can't stand you, but at the same time hang around you for character development. Personality traits want to steal your sauce and run off like they are the best cook. I'm so opposite. I pray for my friends. I want the absolute best for my friends. I'm so traumatized by everything. FABs, and I'd rather run alone than in a pack of bees who secretly hate each other, ah <laughs> yes, and complain about how it's hard for you to have relationships, meanwhile I'm fairly certain you're just completely oblivious of the fact you're the common denominator. I just get this weird feeling that somebody could say this exact same thing or just blatantly to your face about that whole common denominator thing, your first response would just outright be, oh that's not true. Then you're really starting this off with building lasting connections with women, I have quite literally known somebody who uh, since 11 years old. I've known them longer than I have not known them, and we just like to hang out and go and pet penguins and shit. The existence of men makes me sick, and I'm not even kidding. The reality that 50% of the population is male is making me literally depressed. Please tell me they're becoming extinct. They are becoming extinct. Ah, yes, the lady echo chamber. It seems like every time I have ever gone near them, they eventually reveal their backwards beliefs to me. This is really the only thing I have a hard time getting around with men. I don't want to be around a guy with backwards freaking beliefs. It's also to the point where if a guy doesn't have those kinds of beliefs, I think he's screwing with me or got a mask on. Also, I actually don't hate all men, I just don't trust they'll have worthwhile beliefs, and I cannot live around that. I do not understand how women sacrifice beliefs for any old mood. Uh, 
Jesus, they have their own language on this one too. And just to have one around, that is deeply disturbing to me. Second I see any oids, I am out. My sister's husband is a cop with 15 firearms and ARs, and I'm just waiting for the say he uh, offs her and my niece in cold blood. God knows my sister is stressful AF and demanding to live around. I often think about this because every time I see him, he has this dark brooding look on his face, like he is sick of everything. Ah oh, yes, you know, like this entire thing. Like he could snap at any moment. Also, he dragged my sister away from civilization out into bum F nowhere. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the most internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye. Uh,